exponents, and today we're going to look at some rules and laws that involve multiplication. So let's start off with some terminology and definition. We have monomials are an expression with a number and a variable. The number in front of the variable is called the coefficient. So a monomial could be just a number or just a variable or a number and a variable, but most of the time when you hear the word coefficient, what we're talking about is the number in front of the variable. So one of our first rules for exponents is the product of powers rule, or sometimes referred to as rule number one. And when multiplying expressions, if the two numbers have the same base, we can add the exponent. When multiplying expressions, if two numbers have the same base, you can add the exponent. So for example, if I have a to the m times a to the n, we're multiplying and having the same base, so I can write that as a to the m plus n. And let's look at that with some different examples. So x squared times x to the fifth, we're multiplying and we have the same base. So if I multiply and have the same base, I add two and five and get x to the seventh. And that makes sense because x squared is x times x. x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x. So together we are multiplying x seven times. Same rule works no matter if we have a variable, we have a positive number, we have a negative number. If we're multiplying have the same base, we add the exponent. So 6 to the 3rd times 6 to the 4th is 6 to the 7th. Negative 2 squared times negative 2 to the 4th power. We're multiplying have the same base, negative 2. We add the exponent, 2 plus 4, to get 6. So notice how in all these cases the base didn't change. A lot of people get confused when they see that negative 2 for the base. They think the rule has changed. We should do something different. It can't be that easy. Well, it is. You don't change the base. If you're multiplying, have the same base. We just add the exponent. So m squared times m to the x. We're multiplying, have the same base m. We add 2 plus x. I see a mistake a lot of people will do. They'll write 2x, and that's a common mistake. Um, but we want to make sure that we're not multiplying um, those exponents. We are adding. Multiply and have the same base. We add the exponent to get 2 plus x. All right, for example, what if we have 2x squared y times 3x to the fifth y squared? Well, the 2 and 3 are not like bases. And let's just split this up and look at each part. Let's look at the coefficients, the number part in front of the variables, the 2 times 3. Then we'll look at the x's that are the same and the y's that are the same variable. So 2 times 3, they're not like bases. We're going to multiply them just like we always have. 2 times 3 is 6. x squared times x to the fifth, we're multiplying, have the same base x. So I add 2 and 5 to get x to the seventh. And this y doesn't have an exponent on it. Well, if you don't have an exponent, that's just y to the first power. So y to the first power times y squared, multiplying have the same base. We add the exponent and get y to the third. So our final answer, 6, x to the seventh, y to the third. All right, now we have 3 times 10 to the third times 7 times 10 to the ninth. Well, the 3 and 7 are not like bases. We're going to multiply those just like we always have. But this 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 9th, those do have the same base. So I'm going to break this up and look at 3 times 7 and look at 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 9th. 3 times 7 will multiply to give us 21. And 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 9th, we're multiplying and have the same base to get 10 to the 12th power. Now this looks similar to scientific notation, but uh, the first number is not a number between 1 and 10. So even though it's multiplying by a power of 10 in this case, Looks like scientific notation, but it's not. It's just multiplying by a power of 10. Factored form, factors are just numbers being multiplied. So x times x times x times x is factored form. And on the left side, this is exponential form. So exponential form is when we're using an exponent. Factored form is when we're just writing numbers being multiplied. Now, if I have negative z to the fourth, the 4 only actually applies to the z. So the 4, z to the 4th is z times z times z times z. 
That negative in front of that is like having a negative one. So in this case, the four does not apply to the coefficient. If it was in parentheses, it would, but in this case, it's not in parentheses. So the four applies to the Z does not apply to that negative. Next we have the power of a power rule or rule number two. And the power of a power rule states that we can simply simplify a power of a power by multiplying the exponents and leaving the base. So a to the m to the nth is multiplying a to the m times n. <coughs> so x to the 6 to the 9th, the power of a power is the only time we multiply exponents. So we get x to the 6 times 9 is x to the 54th. Six to the three to the four is a power of a power. An exponent raised to an exponent is when we multiply exponents and get six to the twelfth. And we have negative two squared to the fourth power. We have a power raised to a power. Exponent raised to an exponent is when we multiply the exponents, two and four, and get negative two to the eighth. So notice once again, nothing changed on the base. We just still, if we have an exponent raised to an exponent, we multiply the two powers together, get negative 2 to the 8th power, and we can multiply that out, negative 2 multiplied 8 times, and when we multiply a negative number an even amount of times, you'll end up with a positive number for an answer. So also within our properties of exponents, if I have a, b in parentheses to the m, that m on the outside applies to each coefficient and each variable on the inside. So that m applies to the a, the m applies to the b. So like negative 4, y squared, z to the fifth, all to the third power, that 3 on the outside applies to the coefficient of negative 4, it applies to the y, and it applies to the z. So when I apply the 3 to the negative 4, I get negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16, times negative 4 is 64. y squared to the third power, exponent raised to an exponent, power of a power, we multiply and get y to the 6. And z to the fifth to the third power, power of a power, we multiply again and get z to the 15th. And if we have a fraction, inside parentheses with an exponent on the outside, that exponent of m applies to each coefficient and each variable in the numerator, and it applies to each coefficient and each variable in the denominator. So for example, if I have negative 2c over d squared all to the, third, to the fourth power, that 4 on the outside applies to each coefficient and each variable in the numerator, and it applies to each coefficient and each variable in the denominator. So the negative 2 applies to the 4, it applies to the C, it applies to the D. So 1 times 4 gives us C to the 4th, negative 2 to the 4th power, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, times negative 2 is negative 8, times 8 is 16. D squared to the 4th power of power is where we multiply the two exponents together and get D to the 8th. So I have 16 c to the 4th over d to the 8th. All right, you guys, uh, try these five problems and then unpause the video and come back and we'll check it. So pause the video here. All right, welcome back. That first one, x to the 6th times x to the 5th, we're multiplying and have the same base. I can just add the exponents and get x to the 11th. X to the 6th to the 5th power, power of power, we multiply and get X to the 30th. 5X plus 6X, that's just addition. This is just like terms. This is not an exponent problem. Don't make this into an exponent problem. Just add your like terms. 5X plus 6X is still 11X. So look at this sign. And it's completely different if it's addition than multiplication. 5x squared y all to the third power. The 3 applies to the 5. It applies to the x. It applies to the y. So 5 to the third, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. x squared to the third, exponent to an exponent, multiply, get x to the six. And y to the first power times 3 is y to the third, so I get 125, x to the six, y to the third. 
10. The last one, multiply with two different bases. 3 times 5 is still 15. x to the 4th times x. Multiply and have the same base. I get x to the 5th. And y squared times y to the 7th. Multiply and have the same base. I get y to the 9th. And I hope that helps you guys get started on your rules for multiplying with exponents. Have a great day.